back to the channel, you awesome stars and starlets. I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are. We're coming in with another little beginner tutorial or refresher. If you're coming back to The Sims and you're like, what is going on? This is not the same cast that I know. So we're going to be focusing on cast or create a sim. Those of you that don't know what CAS means. That's our little short term for the word create a sim and it is cast. So starting off, The Sims is something that is a full simulation game where we want to dive into living our best life possible. And the one thing that we need are Sims. So the Sims are the people that we're playing with inside of our game. And so when we open up our create a sim, we are auto generated a sim. On the top left hand side, this is where you're going to be able to name your sim. Now there's multiple different ways that you can do this. You can of course make up a name or use your name, whatever works, or you can just use this dice and it's going to give you names pertaining to that sim. So we're just going to come up with Jake Cunningham. And then once we have our name, we now have the option to change our pronouns. We have they, them, she, her, he, him, and custom pronouns. You can type in whatever you would like. We're going to make a they, them. All right, so once we get going, if you want to make a male or a female, you can choose any one of those. But it does not stop there. Underneath those symbols, you have three dots to customize even deeper. You have gender of masculine and female. Now, this is going to give you their different frame. Now, this is perfect for if you have a trans sim. I love being able to have this option. And I, I, I just thank you. Thank you. So if we have a masculine frame, we can either choose masculine clothes or feminine clothes for them. And so then it'll give us the option of wearing the, the women's clothes and vice versa. And then we have whether they can become pregnant, get others pregnant or neither. So say we had a sim that can no longer get their um, partner pregnant we can choose that and then you have other options to do in the game like using the adoption so it makes a little bit more different gameplay and other real life situations that you want to have in your game and then you can have can the sim use the toilet standing you can do any va variation of any of this stuff you can now choose sexual orientation is the sim romantically attracted to men and women or just men or just women you can have the options we're gonna close our eyes and just pick one all right and then you can have is this sim exploring romantically and then if you're not really sure what that means selecting no will prompt the sim to reject other sims that do not meet their attraction type so i kind of use this if i feel like they are bi curious or if they are just bisexual in the woohoo department it really just depends on what you want to do so if they are exploring romantically, click yes. If you only want them to woohoo with, with a man or a woman, then you can choose that or you can have them woohoo either. So what this means is if, if they are romantically attracted to men, they're pretty much going to be their happiest in relationships. Like whether they're dating, married, engaged, that's going to be their happiest. But are they open to possibly women? Yes. Will they woohoo men and a woman? Yes. If I just choose man, they will only woohoo men. If I choose woman, they will only woohoo women. So they won't want to marry a woman, but they're okay with woohooing with them. The variations. We're just we're just gonna leave it like that. It's what we're gonna do. Um, and then of course you can just go back and click your check mark, and then you have still your generated sim. Now, from here, you can choose to have a toddler, you can choose to have a child, a teenager, a young adult, an adult, or a elder. Now, I think since we went through all of those, it may have reset our settings. It did. So, we, we just lost all that. So, make sure you pick... Make sure you pick what you want them to be before you go through your settings. And I don't remember what I did, so we're just going to leave it how it is. All right, so then when you come down to these little bars here, these are what your voice lines are going to be like. So your voice is either going to be really high-pitched or it's going to be really low, depending on which one that you want. All right, so then on the right side, you're going to have a default walk. 
Now, depending on how you like your sims, you have different types of walks that your sim will walk like. Um, I pretty much, I've used the snooty walk. I use the swagger walk. I use the feminine walk. Um, the other ones, oh, I've used the tough walk before. The other ones can be a little, like, they're drastic. They're drastic is the best thing. A uh, bouncy walk isn't too, too bad. Um, the vampire walk drives me insane. I don't like it. I've never used it. Or you can just keep uh -huh. with the default walk. Whatever floats your boat and tickles your pickle. <laughs> All right, the next, bar, the next box is edit sim relationship. So if we were to go add a sim, this is where we can add what type of a sim. If you want to do play with genetics, this means you want the sim to have some type of a child or some type of relation um, or even an animal. You can choose um, a sim if there's another one in the household or you can have them have a random child, boy or girl, or random well, generate that as oh, well. Boy. Also, if you come into the game and you have mermaids, if you have uh, any of the occults, you need to add a sim first. Don't start editing the first generated sim. You need to add a sim and then click on occult and then pick which occult that you want. I have a spellcaster, a mermaid, a vampire, and an alien. So if we're, we were to click on a uh, mermaid, this sim is automatically going to be a mermaid. It's gonna auto-generate for us. And then from there, we can click our male, female, choose a name, teen, adult, all the things. So going back to our first sim, when we come down here, we're going to pick an aspiration. We need to choose what is our main goal that we want our sim to do. Are they a hopeless romantic? Are they are they into family? Are they creative? When you click on something, from there, it's going to give you exactly what are they creative about. Are they a master actor? Do they want to have a job in painting? Do they want to be a writer? Are they going to be defiant? Do they want to be a public enemy? Do they want to be a, 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 a villain? Do they want to have a lot of money? From here, you're going to choose what exactly you want your sim to do. We're going to have him be a computer whiz. Um, from here, you can put likes and dislikes. I personally don't like choosing likes and dislikes because I feel like it just alters a lot with the game. So I usually don't go in here and deal with it because if your sim is around something they don't like, they get in a pretty bad mood. And they'll be like, yeah, I don't like it here, even though you want them to be there. So it's kind of iffy. Sometimes I'll go in and touch these, like favorite color. If anything, I'll put likes in before I put dislikes. From there, you're going to pick three different traits. So you have an emotional trait. You have a hobby trait, a lifestyle trait, and a social trait. This is so hard for me. I have a hard time just picking three. Because I feel like if I make like a whiz person, I want them to be a genius. I want them to be a geek. I want them to be like five different things, but you only have three options. So choose wisely in what you want your traits to be for your sim. Um, if you want to, you can always hit random and it can randomize your traits for you if you have a hard time picking. I don't think I want him to be mean. Um, he's an animal enthusiast and outgoing. We're gonna click it one more time. So this made him a perfectionist. He's good, and he's an art lover. Huh, we can pretty much go with that. All right, so going in, this is where we're going to find all of our clothes, all of our items for our sim. We can go in easily anytime and adjust our sim. What I like to do is I like to kind of take off everything that they're wearing so I can see the body types that we're working with. So if you want to start with a body type, you can go here and adjust your meter. As simple as that, making them buff or big. And then anytime you Body hover episode. over your sim, a hand pops up and then you can adjust individual parts of their body. Um, you can make their bum bigger, smaller. You can make their thighs bigger or smaller. You can even make them have big feet or little feet, whichever you prefer. Once a hand hovers over it, there's usually stuff that you can do, um, even adjusting their head size. As we zoom in, depending on what you want to do, it's an easy click on changing their skin color, adjusting um, what you want and how you want it. You can make your own skin colors with the new slider that we have. 
if you want to click on one and kind of adjust it all you have to do is click that plus sign and then it will save a new skin tone for you if that is what you prefer and the same thing with your hair you can easily take it off and then add new hair however and wherever you would like now just going forward with your sim you can still hit the random generizer random generator by clicking this little dice at the bottom you can click random as many times as you want to get a different base sim if you don't want to go through yourself and you want a random sim you can keep clicking that and it just depends on what you want to do um clicking on different aspects of your sim um if you click on edit detail mode this one is going to zoom you in a little bit further so you can adjust so many different things on your sim down to the ear size and it, it's really, there's so many things that you can do um, with the game as long as you see that hand and you can adjust in different things. And then you can go through and choose their clothes just as easy and willy nilly and all the different choices that you may have. Another thing that you can do is you can give them all of these clothes that are up top or you can click random. You can choose a random option to give them an outfit. I feel like it's not changing in, oh, it's changing his pants. So I'm on pants, so it's randomizing pants. If we click on tops, we're gonna randomize the shirt and it's gonna randomize for us again. If you hit this little arrow, um, well, it's a triangle, you can have more than one outfit. You can have up to five exactly. So if we click on number two outfit, we can randomize it and now he has another outfit. We can randomize it, he has another outfit. And now he has three everyday outfits that he can wear. And you can do the same thing with all of the other outfits. Now, of course, you have to be on that set item um, to choose a different one. They also have already styled looks. So if you want to have a look that's already styled, um, you can put him in that. I actually like that one. <laughs> that accident isn't too bad. Um, uh -huh. eh, the shoes could be better, but <laughs> if you want to keep them in that outfit and you do the styled looks, you can do the styled looks, but it's pretty much easy, um, going through all of the options. Uh, it's pretty much just point and click and decide what it is that you want to do. You can have tattoos on your sim. Again, this is another random option. You can click on the dice to randomize it or go through and click on the tattoo that you want your sim to have. Cat, a lot of cast is literally just point and click a lot of things and different things that you can do for your sim now say you get here and you're just like what what do i do i don't remember up in the top left hand side there is a little hand with a question mark holding it this is where you can find emily emily you can do create a sim story customize a sim or create a sim lesson so let's do a create a sim tutorial. So if you come in and you don't want to hand make your sim yourself and you kind of want the game to do it, that is the create a sim. So it's gonna ask us, do we want a young adult, adult, or an elder? We're gonna go ahead and pick adult for this situation. The best food is grown yourself, caught hook, line and sinker, or prepare for a chef. Now you need to pick one of these, there's no wrong answer. It is literally just generating a sim off of your answers. Or you can do next question. We're gonna do hook, line, and sinker. All right, so we went through all of the questions that, that, that Emily had for us, and it has generated a sim based on the things that we clicked, down to the hair, the clothes, the aspirations and um, even whether he's an occult person or not. So, hi, nice to meet you. Feel free to assign my gender, adjust my appearance and select my clothing and don't forget to give me a name. And we're just gonna click okay. So now it's gonna show us that he has no career right now. He has a skill in fishing, herbalism and starting funds. So this is all off of my story. So as you go through and do this, we just have to give him a name. We're gonna uh, randomly gener we're gonna randomly generate his name. We're gonna do the them. Now, once we do this, we cannot go back through and change any of this. The only thing we can change is gender, household, <coughs> because we have another sim. So if we wanted to, we can make them a brother, son, fiance. We're just gonna make them household member friends. 
we can change their walk, but you cannot go through and change any of their aspirations or their traits. But we can go through and edit their body and what they look like. So keep that in mind. If you want a sim to be exactly how you want them, go to a normal create a sim. If you want to have a sim generated for you to has all their aspirations and goals and you can add their likes, um, then you're going to go to Emily and you're going to go to create a sim story. That could make it some fun if you want to have a random sim and see what you get. Sometimes what we do just for fun, we get the random generated sim and just play with them and we don't change them at all. So that can be a little fun thing to add to your game. Another thing we're going to look at is the occult sims. So the occult sims are going to be your werewolves, your vampires, your mermaids, who am I forgetting, your spellcasters, and your aliens. So before we made a mermaid. So it's going to tell us up top right here where we see the little the fin what occult they are. A mermaid's going to have a fin and we actually have a spellcaster that it randomly generated for us and that has a book. So looking at our mermaid. Your mermaid is going to have two different forms. You're going to have her normal form, and then you're going to have a second form. So this is her second form. And if you want to have both looks, you're going to keep this little link linked. If you don't want her to look the same, you're going to unlink it. So now if we go in and change this top to that one, and then we go back to her normal form, she's going to be wearing something different. So if we go back to her mermaid form and we go and change her hair and we go back to her normal form, it is going to be different. Now say we link them back together. We're going to go back to this form and then say we go and change her hair again and now we're going to go back to the other one and so now she's wearing it the exact same. So I like to have my occult forms be completely different from my normal forms. I just, I, I think it just makes sense to have it separated. Um, that's just me, but I feel like it's best to do that. So say I actually want her to be um, a different color when she's a mermaid. Say I want her to be green as a mermaid, and I want her to, of course, look like a normal sim when she's in her normal form. So you can have a lot of fun with this. Um, I like really doing it with the vampires. They really usually have a really drastic different form and it can be a lot of, a lot of fun. Um, you could copy a Sim to a mermaid form. So that's really cool as well. And like I said, anytime you wanna make a new occult, you have to add a Sim first and then go down to your occult. If you wanna make an animal, you're gonna click on the pet. You can do genetics and stuff like that as well. And then you can add a Sim via story and or just add a normal Sim. So that's how you're gonna do all of your adding and stuff like that. Um, or you can add a Sim from your gallery if you already have one saved to your gallery. So create a Sim can be a lot of fun and it can be very creative to go through and change different Thanks things on your sim. Again, you can do, you know, depending on which occult you have, you can do a lot of, a lot of different fun things um, with your sim, different colors, different options, and um, just, I, I love the mermaid one. <laughs> it's one of my favorite ones. I haven't played with them a lot, but I do like them. So as you go through, um, you can randomize from the gallery. You can go back if you mess up that you have the the front and back arrows You can rotate you can also take pictures in the gallery So I like to take pictures of my sims in the gallery um, And you're gonna hit the button C and it's gonna save as your screenshot and then up in the top left hand side This is where you can save your household. So if you want to save your household, you're gonna click on that little folder with an arrow and Oh, we have to put her, we have to give her a name. And then um, you can save your sim to the gallery. So depending on, here, let's randomize that. Depending on how you've um, created your household, um, I'm clicked on her right now. So right now, all three of them are going to be in one household. So if you only want one sim in a household, um, you can just make one at a time, or you can add them and separate them later. When you have occult sims, it's gonna show their natural form and their everyday form. And it's also gonna show all of their traits and aspirations in every form. 
You can change the pictures if you want to have them standing differently. This little button here is going to save it to the gallery where anyone can download it. And then the other button on the right hand side is going to save to your library. So the light bulb up top is going to be where you're going to get to the library and the gallery. The open gallery is where you can search for anyone's stuff, whether it be Sims, buildings, stuff like that. Um, if there's any news, this is where you can see all the fun information. Who's downloaded your items, who has liked your items, and when you have uploaded items. And then you can see your personal gallery where you have uploaded items um, and you can see how many items. You can separate them um, by content and all of that stuff. And then you have your personal library. This is where all of your items are going to save to. So you have easy access to get to all of them. So I hope this has been helpful for you for creating a sim. Whenever you're ready to take your sim out in the world, you're just going to hit the check mark. It's going to ask, is this everything okay? And you're going to hit your check mark and you're going to take your sim out into the world of what we know as simulation. From here, you're going to choose a world that works best for you, of where you want to put your sim, wherever your heart desires. Just make sure they have enough money. <laughs> and that it has enough bedrooms and everything for your selected sims of choice i'm so happy to have you to be a part of the sims community and if this is your first time ever playing a simulation game please feel free to ask the questions um, and guidance that you may need there's a lot of available tutorials out there and don't forget about emily that is there in the game if you go through all of her simulations um and tutorials then she will give you an extra 5,000 simoleons. So you can actually start with 25,000 simoleons and not just 20,000 simoleons when you play the game. So just have fun, enjoy it. Just know there is no wrong way to play your specific game of Sims and just find a groove for you. If building is your aspect, if creating Sims is your aspect or if playing storyline is your aspect, it is completely solely up to you. We're just happy that you're here and we hope that you're enjoying yourself. So if you have any more questions, please just comment down below. I have different forms of social media that you can contact me at. Everything will be linked down below. Don't forget the next uh, Twitch live stream and um, I play a lot of sims there so you're welcome to see how I play the game and how we share with the community and I also do some special TikTok lives over with a specific storyline that we're doing a 100 baby challenge so I appreciate you guys I love you and happy simming um, so have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are and this is Luna Galaxy out